like yeast. Hot damn! No! Three pounds! Hey there, Boyle. How was your weekend? Well, actually, I got a little sick. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, Bullets Over Broadway was on TV. And I came down with a big old Diane Weast infection. Like yeast! Wait for it. Wait for it. 901. Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself into bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! <laughs> it's heist time. Ah! Thought you could get a head start on heist prep? Good luck. I'm already dressed. Well, I'm also dressed. And I made breakfast. Wait, where are my eggs? In my belly. Ah! Now get a move on. It's heist time. I love Halloween! Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoncini. Smart. Uh-oh. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right, let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, what? Are you going to arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing the situation. That's a captain. Let's capture an image of a lifetime. Oh, why is my phone always dead? I paid $13 for it. Don't worry, Jake. I got it. Oh, oh. oh, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. Come on it. Must record, must record. Camera off. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No, we're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh! <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I could hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I knew it! Good morning, Diaz, Peralta. Captain, you're smiling. It's very weird, like seeing a turtle out of its shell. I'm happy. Our drug task force was a success, and today I get to watch my nemesis, Madeline Wunsch, drape a medal around my neck. Also, we clean up the streets. Yeah, sure, that's good, too. So, I've been planning how to zing Madeline when she puts the medal on. I have the perfect line. Wunsch time is over. So it's, it's a play on lunchtime. Yes, devastating burn, sir. But you know what would really show her is if you said nothing at all. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let, <laughs> let Madeline know she's not even worth my staying up all night crafting zingers. Lunchtime took you all night? Trust me, turn the other cheek. Which I recently learned is about faces and not butts. But works either way. Yes, I should be the bigger person. It shouldn't be hard given that Madeline's not technically a person. For meritorious service, the NYPD bestows this award on Detectives Rosa Diaz, Jake Peralta, and Captain Raymond Holt.
Raymond. Madeline? You won. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. Okay. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it! <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, someone had a good time in Paris. Oh, Kevin and I shared a perfect week together. I feel like I'm floating on a croissant. I wonder why people don't just break into song more often. I've been asking you for months if I could answer the phone like, who did? Give it a whirl, girl. Guys, he's rhyming, he's telling Gina to sing. Captain Holt is on a vacation high. He will say yes to anything right now. I would like a police horse, and I'd like Terry to be riding it almost constantly. I'd like an HR person to remind everyone about workplace boundaries. The Japanese make toilet seats which squirt a heated jet of water right up your- I'm gonna stop you right there, bud. What we need in here is an armored personnel carrier, a tank. Two tanks, I want a tank too. Great, so everyone gets a tank. Just remember, we can't ruin Captain Holt's vacation high, so no one say anything that'll upset him. Oh no, what are those morons doing in there? Well, maybe it's not that bad, maybe they didn't upset him. What'd you do, what'd you say? Nothing, we just said welcome back. <laughs> and laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, Tank. Tank! I gained three pounds in Paris. Three pounds! I can't believe they're waxing the floors and we're all stuck in here. I've never seen them do this before. They do it once a month. We've just never been on the night shift. I know, it's like we're being punished. We are, for going to Florida. Oh, I don't listen to so much stuff you all say. Well, frankly, I pity the lot of you. You look out there and see a problem. I look out there and see an opportunity. I'm gonna slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're gonna do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. I'm doing the full bullpen. Set up in there, Mr. Peralta? Just uh, sign here. What's all set up? What's going on? Ah, thank you for asking, Terrence. You see, the food in prison was inedible. All I thought about day and night were the things I wished I was eating. And you, Amy. I thought about you a lot. Sex with you, just us doing sex with foreplay. Great save, babe. Thanks. And so I decided to make my food fantasy come true. Unbutton your pants and take off your shoes, because there's going to be a doink load of sodium at Freedom Feast 2017. We begin where all great stories begin, in the quaint little town of French Fry Village. After that, we're going to move our adventure over to Cheeseburger Mountain, which consists, you guessed it, of turkey burgers. I'm kidding, it's cheeseburgers. This is kind of just stuffing. You can avoid that. But it's attached to the Thanksgiving turkey theme, because I was thinking about that a lot up in the jail. And finally, we have a big old Passover brisket, because you know I love my mom. If you would all take a seat while I make a toast. Kindly raise your two liters to freedom, to you, and most importantly, to orange drink. And sex with Amy. To sex and with Amy. Amy! Sorry, should have said that last part. Hey, Jakey, the place on the corner is serving lemonade, and you get to keep the jar. It's pretty cool. Yes. That's very cool, Scully. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just one moment? Oh, sure. Guys, guys, guys. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> An identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So, will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade Hitchcock would be... Hitchcock just drank his own fish. What? No! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Prepare to start clapping, because I just made a major drug bust. Talking about four kilos of cocaine, 200,000 cash, and my new partner, a tarantula. I call him Jake Jr., AKA Spidey Klum, AKA Mrs. Doubt Spider, AKA Joe Spiden, AKA Tarantula Bassett, AKA Spide Dermot Mulroney. AKA Tarantulina Jolie. What? No, Charles, have you seen the spider? That's a terrible name. Sorry. Why do you have that thing? Because they were gonna throw him away, but I couldn't let them do that to my furry little, no, oh, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Terry hates creepy crawlers. Seriously? I'm not going to your apartment if that thing is there. All right, fine. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are partners for life. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him! Did they have the ground! I'm good. I'm out of here! He couldn't have gone far, unless he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider. And I'm not coming back here until you do! Uh, Sarge, I think I found it. <gasps> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. It's on my head! <laughs> ah! So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. Okay. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three, believe when I say. Number four, I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Number five. I never want to hear you say, Woo! I want it that way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part.